Yep, the rumours must be true. Hell must have frozen over because Badstag is finally making a video about the stupid flame flinger. You wanted it, here it is. First up, it is Ibra with a Super Bowler Smash. Now you can see already, look, a couple of loons down. Just Coco loons, trying to see if there's a Tesla farm there. There is. We've then got a Yeti down in front of the Flame Flinger over at 9. We've got a little Coco loon coming in. You can see we pulled the Tesla farm, so another Yeti's coming down. Things you got to look out for when you're dropping the Flame Flinger. It will be ranged out by Mortars. They have the same range as it. And Expos. So an expo on air and ground, I think it's like 11 and a half tiles. Um, on just ground, I think it was up to like 14. Flame Flinger is 11. So it will have to get into the range of mortars and to expos in order to hit them. So you don't want to be dropping it in front of them. Now, what we've done here is we've cleared out most of the defense in front of that town hall. So the Flame Flinger has nowhere else to go but to the town hall because we used an earthquake spell to open it up. We didn't have to. I think the the damage from the flame flinger on that mortar would have been just enough to trigger the town hall. It'll sit there for 117, 118 seconds. Maybe two minutes. Just sit there, pointed away at things. The rest of the troops moving in. Look, we got the super bowlers, the king, everything moving in. The queen and the RC, they're up top. The queen's done a, a job on Ibra. I'm sure, do you know what, Ibra, your queen's done this to you before, man. We've We've done a video on you before. And your queen hates you. She walked the wrong way the last time too. I'm pretty sure. And I'll go back and check. But I'm sure. Um, if if I'm wrong, I'll put a message on the screen over here. I don't think I'm wrong. But look, stunning. We've managed to get all the troops through the core of the base. Super Bullers are still up. We've got the Warden still up. I mean, I think all the Super Bullers are still up. One, two, like three, three, sorry, three of them are still up. That's amazing. Now, look at what we got coming out of the Flame Flinger. On this occasion... We had clean up yetis. We had a, basically, it's a yeti blimp, but with the flame flinger. Now, a lot of people will take this. And the reason for that is, if at uh, the the point where you're starting off the attack, you realize, you know, when you te you're testing out those loons, you're testing out with the yetis, and it gets to the stage where it's so baited, you're not going to be able to use the flame flinger. You can switch it up. You can put it straight to a blimp, and you can flip the town hall, and you're done. So that's why a lot of people take the yetis for this kind of job. We'll let you off for that one, Ibra. Next up for the Flame Flinger, it is only our happiness. Now, happiness isn't going to go Town Hall for Flame Flinger. This is a little bit different. So you can see, we're going to drop the Flame Flinger. We've got a Coco Loon coming in at 3 o'clock. Flame Flinger straight down behind. Now, that Flame Flinger, look what's in this compartment. Let's get right in here. So you got that Wizard Tower, the Archer, the Air Defense, the Wizard Tower behind it as well. Plus, right there in the middle, you got the Inferno Tower. None of those will range out a flame flinger. So that flame flinger will sit there and quite happily just destroy that whole compartment. Nothing's going to affect it. But you do have to keep an eye on it for any skelly traps. And if you look, we got that baby dragon down there. That's probably the baby dragon is intent is initially for, just in case you have any of those traps. You can drop the baby dragon. Baby dragon will clear out any of the skellies or anything else, and you're good. Now we've already got the rest of the kill squad for the heroes starting to move in from this bottom section. The RC is already taking this bottom compartment. You'll see now we've dropped the baby dragon because we don't need it for the flame flinger. Yeah. Flame flinger's done its job. And look, it's still at half health. We're 28% of the base. The flame flinger is still on half health. That thing will keep going for days and days and days. We're going to see the heroes coming in. Here we go. Queen now coming in from the bottom section. This is going to be a basically a hero push. We're talking about a back end Lalo here from happiness. This base is a very common internet base. Uh, so I don't know why people are bringing it into wars. But anyway... Uh, BD Fighters, Naughty. Look, King, Queen, Warden, all coming in from this bottom section. There's so much damage in there. Look at all the Expos and the Scatter Shots and the Heroes and the Bob Tire and every goddamn thing in this bottom section. And the Heroes are going to eat it up. The Flame Fling is still on the right-hand side. That's already started to take out this other compartment up the top. Ooh, and an accidental freeze drop, but it doesn't even matter. The Lalo's coming in now from this top section. Flame Flinger finally popped with 50 odd seconds left of the attack. And in that, Happiness decides to take a Robo Drag and four loons. Now you'll see that with a lot of Lalo attacks that use the Flame Flinger, people will take air troops. Now, previously, you would have seen two dragons in there to kill a queen, or just a bunch of loons. 
uh, since the Robo Drags came out, they've got such high hit points. They're a good option to take because, again, just like the Flame Flinger, they will step up. They'll start targeting defenses. They'll do some nice work for you. Another really nice use of the Flame Flinger, Jonas, you don't always have to send it for the Town Hall. You can send it to take out a whole right hand, left hand, middle section of a base because it will do the work. Stays up for days. Happiness knows how to use it. GG. Well done. And our final use today for the Flame Flinger is coming in from Happiness. And we're going to send in, it looks like a Queen Charge Hog Riders. Oh, Happiness loves this attack. And uh, I think I've shown it about 20 million times on the channel. So I apologize to the rest of the under eights, but I just love this attack. Queen not meant for the Town Hall. The Queen is in there to kill basically everything around the Town Hall. We've got a Hog in to take out that multi mortar. Beautifully done. And that leaves nice path in because we're going to send the Flame Flinger for Town Hall. The Queen will have cleared out all the traps, the uh, the defences, uh, anything that, that will cause any damage to the Flame Flinger is now a thing of the past. So we can worry about the rest of the attack. We don't need to worry about the Town Hall. Earthquake spell, once the Queen is out of range, it's just so nicely done. Happiness, it's just... You can see just how well thought through this attack is. How close did that Queen come to losing her ability? Holy moly. Happiness, you are amazing. There's the Flame Flinger. It's just going to do so much work. Once it gets the Town Hall down, you see it will move up around the base. And there's nothing up there that is going to outrange this Flame Flinger. It's just not going to happen. Already starting with the King over on the right, though. King's going to move up and get rid of all the outside buildings over there. And that leaves a straight path through that area for the Hogs. The Hogs can move straight through this base now with pretty much no problem at all. Queen moving into the core, so she'll get the Warden, she'll get the RC, she'll sh probably get the enemy King as well, actually. But look, Flame Flinger's still going, and look at it, in the wall. Yeah, Flame Flingers can do that. Flame Flingers can travel inside walls. They, they, they do that a lot. They're, yeah, they're in, I, I don't know why. Now, what you will notice is Flame Flingers, they do a lot of damage to walls. So they're like times, I think it's something stupid, like times eight. Oh, look, look, look. This is the problem here. If you've not to save the Flame Flinger when these skelly traps hit, you're done. Flame Flinger is gone. But we have another use for the Flame Flinger that Happiness is showing us here. Got my favorite CC troops. We've got the hogs. Hogs out of the Flame Flinger. They are so good. I use them a lot when I use the Flame Flinger. They do an amazing job of cleanup. But look, Happiness is just swagging spells. Show it off. Get in there. Beautiful attack happiness. Really love it. And um, thanks for showing us how to use the Flame Flinger properly. GG. So guys, there you have it. Different ways to use the Flame Flinger. Different troops to have inside it. Different things to consider before you even put it on the map. Hope today's video was helpful for you. If you did enjoy what you saw today, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll be back very soon with more Clash of Clans from Bastide Gaming. See you later.